Good morning everybody and welcome to this video. Thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about logs. One of my favorite topics in mathematics, we're going to talk about logs. And as a teacher myself, I see that so many students have so many issues with this chapter. And I want to say that this is one of the easiest chapter in, in mathematics. This is one of the easiest chapters. Now let's talk about logs, okay? In short, we say log. Now let's go back to the basics of uh, powers or indices. So if I can say 2 to the power 3, this will be equal to 8. Why this is equal to 8? Because 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. Here, 2, which is the base, is multiplied 3 times. So that's why the power is 3. So that's why the power is 3, because the base 2 has multiplied 3 times, which is equal to 8. So let me write this one more time. Let me write 2 to the power 3 is equal to 8. Now if you want to understand logs, you have to analyze this thing very, very carefully. What is 2? 2 is the base. What is this 3? This 3 is the power. Are we also called index? Or are we also called exponent? What is 8? Eight? 8 is your output. Or you can also say your answer. So we can say base, power, and output or answer. So this base was 2, this power was 3, and this output was 8. Uh, this is very important to understand if you want to have a good grip on logs. If you want to understand logs properly, this is you have to understand. Now, log is basically written in this form. Log, and then we have the base. We have the output is equal to the power. Which is just basically the same thing, but it has been written in a different form. It is just inverse of regular indices. So let's take this example which we took, 2 to the power 3 is equal to 8. Now now we can say log, what is the base? The base is 2, so we can write base 2. What is your output? Your output is 8, so we can easily write 8 is equal to power. What is the power? The power is 3, so we can write, we can write 3. Now this is log. Simple as that. That is no big deal. It is just the same numbers, but written in different order. And this will give you the same answer. Now let's take another question. Let's take 5 to the power 3 is equal to 125. So again, we have the base, we have the power, and we have output. So how do we write this in the form of log? So log, this number is the base, this number is the output, and this number is the power. So this is equal to log. So this is equal to log. What is our base? Our base is 5. What is our output? 125. And what is our power? Our power is 3. It means the base will be multiplied 3 times. It means 5 times 5 times 5 in order to give the output of 125. Now this is called log. It's nothing much to understand because this is the very basics. So in order to go further into the logs, you need to understand this very well. Let's take one more example. Let's take um, 6 to the power 3 is equal to, okay, okay, so it's 216. So 6 to the power 3 is equal to 216. So we can say that 6 is the base, 3 is the power, and 216 is the output. So log is written in this form, log base output equal to power. So log, our base is 6, and our output is 216, and our power is 3. So this will be equal to 
6 to the power 3 equal 216, but just these two are written in different forms. They are basically the same thing. We find the value of this log 216 to the base 6 is equal to 3. How do you find this value in using a scientific calculator? So let's have a look at this. Log 6 of 216 is equal to log 216 divided by log 6. Now if you punch this in your calculator, you will get the value of 3. Now as I told you earlier that the value of log 216 to the base 6 is equal to 3. But the question is how do you find out the value of 3 in your calculator? So as I told you earlier, this will be log 216 divided by log 6. This will give out the value of 3. Now there comes one more question that how log 216 to the base 6 is equal to this fraction? Well, right now you do not worry about this. You just focus on writing regular indices into the log form. This is what you need to focus in the first video because this is the very basics. This will be covered in the future videos. So. Thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for watching. And once again, do not focus on this right now. Just practice more and more basic problems so that you have a better grip on how the basics of the log works. Thank you so much.